Hey, I'm Efrat and I'm an international student living in Japan and more precisely I am getting paid to live here and go to art university thanks to this amazing amazing scholarship the next scholarship and in this video I wanted to talk a little bit about this scholarship and about the process, the long process I've been through in order to get it and in order to move to Japan. I have been getting all sorts of questions about it, about how did I enter an art school in Japan and how did I get to Japan and I thought maybe today I will try to answer some of the questions but I think this will be the first video out of at least two <laughs> so please if you will have more questions about things I haven't talked about in this video or haven't talked about enough, uh, please leave a comment below and ask your questions below so I can address these questions. The next time I will make a video about this topic. Also, anything I'm saying here in this video is based solely on my own experience, especially with the Mac scholarship. It's very different depend on what is your topic of study, which university you are going to. So everything I'm saying here is based on my personal story and experience. I will divide this video to four sections. The first section will be a little bit about my background and Japan. Uh, the second one will be about the scholarship, the next. And the third one will be about going to an art university in Japan. The fourth one will be some general impressions I have about the whole thing. So I am Efrat, I'm from Israel, but I went to university in the United States uh, where I studied some Japanese up to intermediate level. I would say I also in my third year in college I went to study abroad in Kyoto in an art school in Kyoto which was amazing my best experience from college and then I went back to the United States and then I graduated and I went back to Israel to work and live there for a few years I did not study any Japanese when I was living in Israel, I actually tried to study Arabic but anyway, I took a long break from Japanese uh, but I always wanted to go back to Japan and to make art and combine the two and I always knew about the scholarship, the Max scholarship ever since I was in Kyoto in 2014 because I met students in Kyoto who were on the same scholarship and I asked them some questions about it, so I always thought about it and kept it in mind. But the information you find about the scholarship online is really confusing and really different depending on the website you're looking in. No matter how many times you look at it, you still don't really understand like how do you apply for it, how do you get it, how do you move to Japan. Next is basically a Ministry of Education Japanese founded scholarship for international students who want to come to Japan and study something, anything they are interested in for a few years uh, for a degree and it can be uh, for anybody in the world as long as the country you are from has uh, diplomatic relations with uh, Japan which I'm pretty sure is almost any country there are a few kinds of max scholarship there is undergrad there is masters, doctoral, research students, and a few others. I came to Japan with the research student scholarship and later on I moved from being a research student to being a master student. There are two ways to become a Max scholar student. Uh, one is through a university recommendation, so you find the university in Japan to recommend you. And the second way is through an embassy recommendation. So you get recommended by the embassy or consulate in your country. This is what I got. So I will try to take you through the process of getting an embassy max recommendation. And the whole process of the application was in English and it took me about a year to go through it step by step. So my first tip to you will be to go check the website of the embassy of Japan in your country if you are interested in this scholarship. Reach out and send an email to the people in the embassy and 
ask them questions if you have. Someone from the embassy will answer your questions, at least in my case. Uh, they were very nice and I think that helped me so, so much to go through the process and get the scholarship. First, you have to write the research, describe what you are going to study in Japan for two years, what kind of skill you want to acquire, uh, you have to be quite detailed about why does it have to be in Japan and it needs to sound like you know what you're talking about and that you are passionate about it and that you really really want to study about it and do it yeah you need your research to be passionate then you submit your application and research to the embassy and there is this stage when you and some other candidates come to the embassy to do a language exam two language exams uh, English and Japanese I did not do the English exam because I went to university in the US so that I didn't have to do it. Uh, the Japanese exam was only to assess our level. I wouldn't worry about it too much. And then you have an interview. Whew. I was so nervous for the interview but I noticed that the rest of the candidates who came for the interview were mostly from the science, like science, subjects, mathematics, uh, social science, all sorts of science. There was one spot for arts and um, some of the candidates came from Bezalel, which is like the top uh, art university in Israel and I did not come from Bezalel and I think I got the art spot because I told a different story in my interview that's my assumption I think it's important to clarify that art is a subject, a field that you can get the scholarship to study in Japan, to study art in Japan. I know a lot of international students who study all sorts of artistic fields uh, like design, paper making, illustration, pottery, architecture. There are just so many. Um, Japan has such a rich history of arts and crafts and design and uh, I think there is a lot uh, you can look at and get inspired to write a research about that will help help you come to Japan. After the embassy approves you, you need to write to at least three universities in Japan and send them your research, some application materials and the embassy recommendation and they also need to approve you. Then, after they approve you, you need to send their uh, approvals and the embassy recommendation, everything, the whole package, to the Ministry of Education in Japan, the MEXT, and they also need to approve you. And after that, you basically got the scholarship. But there's a long waiting period in between each of these steps. Going to an art university in Japan is not too stressful. Um, at least in my case, I don't have classes exactly sometimes I do but I mostly have a uh, studio time and lectures and discussions and some projects to participate in and things like this um, the hardest part for me is the language everything is in Japanese I am lucky to have an advisor who speaks English uh, but the other professors and all the students speak to me in Japanese and very often I don't I cannot follow everything because it's hard but I guess slowly I do understand more and more and hopefully I am getting better living in Japan can be super challenging at times there are a lot of paperwork in Japanese you always need to get to take care of there is a lot to get used to everything is so different sometimes you can feel a bit lonely but overall I think the max scholarship is an amazing opportunity to come to Japan to live here to study something you are really interested in and passionate about to really immerse yourself in the place it's a really special place there is always so much to discover and yeah so I hope this video helps some people who are interested in coming to Japan and uh, if you have more questions please write them down in the comments below and thank you for watching this video and I will see you in the next video bye bye